Today on the couch, we're having a deep conversation with the men. Myself, Nadia, and Jasmine will be talking about our experiences with the masculine energy. Then we have our special guest, Stefano, who will speak about how taking a break from dating changed his life. And we also have special guest, Teeley, who speaks about his transformation and elevation after divorce. We're excited to have you on this episode. So grab a cup of coffee, your journal, and settle in, and let's dive into today's episode on The Couch with Joy and Friends. Hey, Steak! <laughs> I don't know. Love y'all. Hey. It's just it's yeah. wonderful. Hey, boo boo. Why not? Just come and have fun. That's the reason why I wanted to come over here. I'm like seeing y'all laughing and all that. Right. Yeah, you want right. to laugh? I want to be all over and talk and laugh too. too. Yeah. Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? Where did these they names come from? Stay. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the couch, yeah. season two. Welcome back, welcome oh back. God. Before we get started, because we got a special, special surprise for y'all, because a lot of the times y'all be in the comments talking about we ain't married, we mm. ain't got no men, mm. we mm. wouldn't know what to do in a relationship. We don't even have jobs, let y'all tell it. They we did don't. say we was unemployed. We don't. <laughs> Rich and unemployed. Rich and unemployed. <laughs> so today nice. we invited some men. Yep, I said it. The masculine energy that y'all said we do not possess. We invited wow. them to the couch today to set the tone and the balance so y'all can the get... the record. Come straight. on. And the record straight. Praise God. That we, the girls at the couch, we want to unite with the men. We don't want to fight. We want to love. I don't want to fight. We, we want to love. Hey, we don't want to fight either. No, how about it? We need peace. <laughs> See? And so this is this is just going to set the record straight episode that basic is not basic. Come on. Because y'all said it was basic for a man to cook for me. And I don't think that's it. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to dig into it. Don't play with it. Um, so make sure y'all subscribe. Well, that's what, what it I is. Said. Subscribe. Press the button. Press that ding to get that ding. <laughs> okay so go ahead and press the ding to get that ding press the ding to get that ding okay every tuesday and thursday we drop in love okay and i need y'all to be there and thank y'all for supporting us all mm -hmm. this time y'all y'all really be showing up for your girl mm. so today we're gonna jump right into it Jeez, because i can't funny. wait <laughs> <laughs> you just i can't up. wait we have Stefano and Tilly What's here today. Up? Yeah, yeah. What's poppin'? Y'all feel excited to be here, man. Yeah, man. I mean, we Happy got some grown me. men, y'all, <laughs> on the couch. <laughs> on it's the men, couch. Men of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, hallelujah. Uh -huh. Even better. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Uh -huh. And you know, rub on you. They're mature. They're mature men. Man. Y'all got me in coming in here trying to rub on y'all? Well, oh, you should it's see happened. it. It's happening. Wow. Well. Well, so we, we kind of, because we kind of hesitated with putting Nadia in the middle, because the last time she got a little harassed, oh. and the audience really didn't like it. After the day, that's wow. it. No, nah, you, you, you you're in between some oh, angels no, this time. You're safe you good. You know, you good. I love that. I love it's that. Say it again. Yeah. Say you're safe. You're safe. With you're safe. safe with with that. That. Yeah. God, this the first step, y'all. <laughs> Being safe. Being safe. Right. A woman open up if she's safe. That's right. right. 100%. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It get real soft. I had to get divorced to figure that out. Uh, you, ooh, this going to be a good one today. Hey, yeah. we ain't even seven minutes in. I'm excited to be on this so show. It's going to get juicy today. <laughs> I love this for y'all. So, y'all, we're going to introduce, we're going to let them introduce themselves so you'll know who they are. And I, let me, let me say this. I picked these two guys because I've been watching them. We don't talk often, y'all. So they don't, they're not like my close, close people, but I do watch them from afar and I'm loving what each of them um, is doing as far as healing is concerned, speaking out, speaking their mind, creating spaces for men to talk, y'all. And that's why they're here. So both of them are going to introduce themselves to y'all and y'all make sure y'all follow them. Their Instagrams will be on the screen. So y'all get, get this love. Okay, yeah. Stefano, what's up? Who are you? What's up, Joy? <laughs> Man, Thank you what's for up? Coming. Of course, of course. I was on time. <laughs> you I, sure were. Thirty minutes early. <laughs> Thirty minutes. Okay. Woo! All right, that's what's up. What's up, y'all? My name is uh, Stefano Buchanan. I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Uh, Miami. He a nine oh four. Nine five four. Nine five. Nine 
Five. That's all good, baby. Now, <laughs> my man from Jacksonville, okay. like, oh, everybody she does that. She boy. does that to everybody. Oh, okay. everybody is a nine four. Nine zero four. You, you can be from, from Brazil. Nine zero four is Jacksonville. Okay, okay. you can be from Brazil. Okay. You're gonna be from, a nine zero four. Uh, yeah. So nine five four. I've been in that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Atlanta for the last seven years, and um, it's been one of the greatest decisions I've ever made just for myself and just being a man. Um, I got into a lot of stuff. How much do you want me to say? You know, like, because, uh, you know, we got another. We just want to. I, I do want you, because that's great. You're in Atlanta. He's mm -hmm. a musician. Mm -hmm. And talk about, tell the people about your um your men's group. Okay, cool. So I have a men's collective. Uh, um, that I do every Monday. I'm sorry, one Monday a month. Okay. Um, and it's a space uh, where we uh, develop men and uh, leaders uh, and at the same time inspire a deeper prayer life. Mm -hmm. And so that's the whole goal. You know, we got private chef, we got a bartender. Mm -hmm. Bartender. Because oh, yeah. listen, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and it's, you <laughs> it's know, for men. It's, it's for men, but yeah, it's for men. And, and we're, <laughs> we're one of the fellas. You know, and I have, you know, brothers who are married, fathers, guys, they, they get about four or five hours away from everything. And it's a space to just talk, a space to get away, decompress, eat, drink. Um, we share good nuggets with each other. We always pray mm -hmm. um, towards the end. And, um, and, you know, that's just really what it is. That's it's something dope. special, yeah. Well, we appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we do. So, T. Lee, thank you for coming. Thank you for having Tell me. Tell the people who you are. So, my name is Clarence. Come on, Clarence. That's 90 special right now. <laughs> and the nickname is T. Lee. Uh -huh. Real story. Yeah. I mean, you know, short story. My mom, she wanted to name me Toledus. I want to get this out here, get it over with, because everybody's always asking. <laughs> to well, get it over with. Get, get it out of here, get it over with. Wanted to name me Toledus. <laughs> okay. And my dad said no. Okay. And gave me his dad. name. Come on, dad. And so, but no. T. Lee Special. stuck as a nickname with my family. Okay. 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 So, I'm a musician by, by trade. I've been playing since I was 15 years old. Um, started playing drums when I was two. But in correlation with this, I'm here because I'm three years divorced and the process of my healing has taught me so, so much about myself, mm. about women, about my relationship, men's relationship with women and how mm -hmm. this thing really works when two people come together, you know, That's good. or when they don't. Listen. And I love to talk and I love to talk about it mm. because a lot of men can't talk about it, Hello. won't talk about it. Mm. Or feel like they don't, that nobody really cares to hear what they have to say. Specifically women. Hi. Or that they don't need I, I, to I. talk about it. Yep, that too. Mm. And just deal with it. Mm -hmm. I'm good, I'm straight. And to talk about it around other men, mm. unfortunately, we are looked at as weak or, you mm. know, those hope, those types of things. Not in my group. So, you know. I Y'all are strong, huh? <laughs> I love that. Sure. No huh? egos. We, we got ready. you. Let's go. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> let's go with the first question of the day, oh, which is, we're going to start with, okay, are there any real differences, right, between sexes that make it difficult for us to understand each other, y'all? Y'all, and if, if there are differences, what y'all think they are? Why we just can't get it together. Here on the couch, we focus on healing in every way, including our finances. Financial peace of mind is important to me, and that's why I bank with Chime. Chime is an award-winning app and a debit card with no hidden fees or monthly minimums, y'all, and y'all know we need that. It's the banking of the future since it's 100% mobile and online. Chime offers a ton of awesome features. Users get fee-free overdraft on up to $100 in debit purchases with SpotMe. It's like overdraft protection, but way better. You can get your paycheck, benefits, stimulus check, and tax return up to two days earlier with direct deposit. Come on, y'all. They have automatic saving features where you can automatically save a percentage of your paycheck or you can round up your purchases made with your debit card and save that amount. There are no hidden fees or no monthly minimums. This is a steal. Y'all, start banking with Chime today. 
So sign up for a Chime checking account today to link your paycheck. It only takes two minutes and it doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. That's Chime.com forward slash TCWJ. You want to go first? Or? Sure. Sure, go ahead. I mean, yeah. for me, I had this conversation. I just kind of had, I've been having this back and forth on Instagram about this with a um, a comment that I made on a post. Because for me. What was the comment? It was talking, the lady was talking about me and not feeling, you know, validated or feeling um, like what they have to offer is the only thing that matters, basically. And um, my response was that, unfortunately, a lot of women, a vast majority of women, what I said, but I included men in this as well, because once to, to what you're saying, it's both of us. Mm -hmm. But in reference to her post, I said a vast number of women are um, unrealistic and unbalanced in their expectations. Hmm. I'm the table. Because they don't, you know, a lot of women, a lot, a, a, a lot of women that. want a certain thing from a man and a lot of them don't want to give their, their version of that reciprocation back. Mm. Mm. That's and vice good. versa with a man. So mm -hmm. it goes both ways. Yeah, that to your, is definitely people. It goes both ways. Yeah, we do That's different good. things to one another. Mm -hmm. But where it comes from, for me, is ultimately the same. There's a lack of understanding. There's a lack of empathy. There's a lack mm -hmm. of willingness to see another person's perspective. You don't have to agree with people. Mm -hmm. This is relationships in general. Mm -hmm. You don't have to agree with people. Care enough about somebody to understand. Mm -hmm. And some kind of resolution will be met at the middle. For sure. It should be, for sure. Mm, especially yeah. if you just have a, a, a mutual respect for that person. Exactly. Mm. Even if you don't want to hear what they got to say, if you respect that person, you can still sit through them set, telling you something you don't really necessarily agree with or mm -hmm. want to hear. And you don't have to. And you don't have, mm -hmm. you don't have it's to. It's okay. Agree. And it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it is 100% okay. okay. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. good, T. That's good. Uh, for me, I suppose. Um, okay. Uh, one of the things I've, the differences I've, um, just been experiencing lately is um, people say women, of course, are more emotional mm -hmm. and men are more logical. Mm -hmm. So I've always been a very emotional dude, very in tune with my emotions. Um, I've been <clears throat> single for the last couple of years intentionally to just take some time to refresh. Look at you. Proud of you. Yeah, you know. It was needed. Not filling it up mm -hmm. with spaces and people. <laughs> but, you know, um, getting back on the dating space, getting back in the dating space, mm -hmm. Um, when you're single, you you don't have to consider much or anybody else. You can just move, come and go. But now that you know I'm seeing someone or in that space, it's like, man, should I got somebody else to consider now? Then the next good thing goes, uh, what's the next thing? Um, when she feels like I'm not present enough, mm -hmm. I have to remember, like, wait a minute, hey, like, let me not be too logical because I do have a lot on my plate. But then within everything I have going on the part of the emotions is like, all right, let me attend to that. Let me mm -hmm. make sure that, that she feels like I'm present. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just navigating um, emotions and logic. Mm, that's really good. Because really that yeah. might be my struggle sometimes emotions too. Emotions and logic. Because yeah. I'm over. Because mm -hmm. I'm an over lover, overly mm -hmm. emotional, overly sensitive. Like yeah. I want love yeah. all the I get it. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> I'm saying it, in the, it and and you know he he's he works he mm -hmm. provides so mm -hmm. the the balance and being realistic is mm -hmm. joy no yeah you know and it's and like, it hurts yeah. <laughs> you know and I think there can be a happy <laughs> it can be a happy medium you know um uh it just being I think it, it boils down to consideration mm -hmm. if you are considerate you will remember or be conscious or just be conscious enough to think of the other individual. Um, the other part from the woman's standpoint, my point is um, to be also considerate and understand, hey, he might really have a lot going on. or And sometimes he may not physically be so busy, but in his mind, probably decompressing because that happens to me. Sometimes I have to decompress from so much mm -hmm. that like, man, I, be, I would just cut on my TV and put my phone in the room, let it charge and just sit in my space. And she'd be like, you ain't call me. But even with that, I've, I've learned that we've had conversations like, hey, you know, send a text, you know, just let me know. Da, 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 so. Yeah, because you could, you, yeah. Th that text will save your life. It really because, would. And it really it'll save would. arguments, it'll save me thinking Assumption. my own thoughts. Yes. Um, yeah. Because we be wanting to know. 
You know, <laughs> we be wanting to know that we thought right. about. Yes, that's consideration. <laughs> yeah. Even when you working, you know, because it could, you know, they had said because per- President Obama is <laughs> running the nation. And he got time. And he, and he made time. Michelle. Come on. He and he don't, he don't miss that seven o'clock dinner. Mm-hmm. Should nope. that time be out of obligation, though? Because here's, my, here's my thought. But I want Big Daddy to want to do it. That's, yeah. And that's my point. I want him to that's want good. it. There's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a personal engagement that has to take place mm-hmm. where if you care about somebody, mm. you, you're going to, you don't have to be made to do it. Right, because you know, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. It's in front of your brain. Talk. I'm going to be here, one, because she wants me here, but two, because I enjoy having dinner with her and that's, at 7 o'clock. And I think that comes with that too. an intention of not allowing yourself to get so comfortable with someone's presence. Absolutely. That you expect for them to be. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even I didn't even say my little piece. Oh, yeah, I'm a good she, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no I, but I feel like the be lack right. of if, if including both of the things that both of you gentlemen mm-hmm. pointed out, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, self-awareness first. First. And then consideration as well. Mm, Because it's not just you. Yeah. If you want it to be just you, then allow it to just be just you. But if you're saying you want to do life with somebody, Mm -hmm. you got to do it. You cannot, you should not. Mm -hmm. There's no way at at all, even down to the unrealistic expectations, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I feel like there is a a people have that. Mm -hmm. Because men... I've been in the situation. Mm-hmm. I've been in a relationship where, yep, I'm busy. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. always somewhere mm-hmm. doing something. Mm-hmm. And nine times out of ten, it's not just one thing. Mm-hmm. Something I'm doing with my hands, but some other things are happening as well mm-hmm. that I'm doing. But guess what? If you call me mm-hmm. and I know that I can't necessarily talk, but all you want to do is see my face, I'll answer the phone mm-hmm. even if I can't talk. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I want the same thing. Exactly. I cannot. I it, it makes no sense for me to find compromise, mm. find how I can, because we're doing life together. Together. Right? Because mm. I can do it by my. I, if I'm going to be by myself, I'll be by myself. Exactly. Facts. But then I can't look to you for the safety, for the reassurance, yeah. for the other things you want from me. Yeah. Right? We oh, got to do it. Demand for me. Yeah, because that's, that's, unre- that's the unrealistic that's thing. And when it sides. comes from men, from sides, from they, sides, yeah. they are wanting the now. Ooh, they are wanting girl, the... I don't mean. understand why you don't... We you do too. Some no, of us no I'm not saying to. we don't. Yeah. But I'm just saying for that, you want the... Well, dang, I called you while you were answer. Yeah. Even if I called you and you missed 10 calls. Oh, yeah. Don't miss 10 calls. Don't miss 10 calls. That is part of the bro code that we yeah. just can't don't, cross. Well, that's just inconsideration. They could call us. No, it is. Now you're but talking, that's what I'm saying. Take the, take the male and female out of it. Yeah. I take the male and that's female the la- out of that's it. That's what I said. It's lack the lack of consideration. Of consideration. It ain't and self just a little tip. Because at the end of the day, the things that I would want you to do for me... I'm going to do for you because I want you... Not just because. I know you want me to want you... Talk and I sense. want you to want me. Yeah. And I now see, want but see, now here's the other thing. Me. Like you said, self awareness. Mm-hmm. You cannot choose correctly if you don't know yourself what it is that you really want. See, the first time I got married, I thought I knew what I wanted, mm-hmm. but it was on a surface level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize the intangibles that I needed from someone until mm-hmm. I really knew who I was. Talk, bro. Who am I? What do I want? What do I need? What can I? What yeah. can I live with? Yeah. What do I know I can live without? Yeah. If you're not offering me these things right here mm-hmm. on this list that mm-hmm. I need, this is a waste of time. We can have fun mm-hmm. hanging out, but I would never be in a, in a lifelong relationship with you because I know that it's not going to work. Yeah. And when you know that, you choose different and you pretty much, I'm not, there's no guarantees in life, mm. but you're going to get a whole lot closer to that reciprocation when you know who you are and you're willing to not settle for something that's, that's not going to give you that. Mm-hmm. We're so anxious to be with somebody, we don't know how to wait. Mm. And, and we, we don't know how to be with ourselves, too. Exactly. That's so even though we're trying to turn that okay. person into the person who we exactly. want them Let to me, be. Exactly. It's when not not happen. Not, and they not never will. Let me interject. It's not going to happen. One of the things, being by myself for like the last two uh, years, it's been joyous. It's been an incredible space because, again, I don't necessarily have anybody to check in or consider. And I'm a lover boy. I've always been in a relationship. So (laughs) so it felt good to just not. Mm -hmm. So when I learned to really love my space and love me and get to (laughs) 
uh, you know, be more exposed to me. Some of the things mm-hmm. that I, I'm favor, you know, I favor and some things that I'm not really a fan of, you know, took some time to put some work into that. Um, when it came to now, no, man, I, I think I'm ready to date again, you know, and put myself out there. And, you know, when I would, you know, let's say hypothetically get with someone, um, I loved my space so much that there were, there's a transition mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of this mind. Mm-hmm. So like you go from being to yourself to now, like I said earlier, considering someone else and, and it's not like you don't want it, but it's just like you, you, you gotta learn you gotta how to unlearn continue, now. Yeah. You have to learn new behaviors. Yeah. You have to learn new practices. Mm-hmm. You know, so that yeah, that And I did I did the same thing the same before me and him started dating. I mm-hmm. literally said to him before we even moved in together, I was mm-hmm. like I've been living with people all my life. Mm-hmm. I was like, I cannot. I'm going to stay by myself for at least a year or so. Absolutely. Please, I need to get my own apartment. Yeah. I need to know that I can clean every day. I need to know that I'm not nasty. I'm not. Facts. It was so many things. Because when you live at home, you got your mama. Then when you live with your best friend, she going to clean up. If you don't, mm-hmm. it's it's a it's this thing she where you had. Right. When, you when I got home from church late, it would be something on the stove. I was like, oh, dang. I like living with somebody. But yeah. I didn't know how to do that on my own. And mm-hmm. I recommend when men live by yourself. Yeah. Do something alone before you get with anybody in a yeah. serious relationship because you're going to realize, mm. do I wake up at 12? Am I productive? Do I bathe? Mm. As often as, as I think. I do should. I change my sheets? Do I change my sheets? Ooh. If he come over Ooh. here, are my, she- <laughs> are my sheets clean? <laughs> you know, do you, do you keep... Is it dunking around my toilet? Right. Like, let's just... It's, it's yeah. real. So every time yeah. I would come home, it, it went from... Look. It went from cleaning up for a person to cleaning up for me. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Scary. Saturdays it became instead of cooking for somebody else, I was cooking for yeah, me. I love it that. was it was a take care of me thing. So when he did come, you had it a was system. it was yeah, I like flawless. That. He would be like, he'd be like, dang, it's always my peaceful man, when I come. My man, my man, my <laughs> man. <laughs> it was screaming from the mouth and tops. You know, <laughs> it's and two, and two. Let me go a little deeper. And you find out sexually who you are, mm, women, mm, because right. a lot of y'all are promising things. Because when I get with you, I'm, a, <laughs> and you don't even know what that people, is, people. People. Girl, and you're too tired to do it. That's people. You're too tired to do it. Yeah. You work like a slave. You ain't giving it up. You too tired. Learn what you like because you might not want it every day. You might say, you know what? I don't need that every day. Actually, (laughs) you might find out, actually, I don't have a high sex drive that I thought I had when I was doing this, 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 and the other. So if you don't, do you choose a man that does? Heck no. When you make adjustments. No. I no, would not. You set if you up. do not have a high sex drive, do not pick some a man that does because you will be you set yourself up. out. Yeah, I you agree. say yes, but vice versa. You gonna have a new hole. Yeah. Hole right here. Pull up with a scene. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then we'll get mad, and then we'll get upset and say, "I'm, I'm being degraded." That's yeah, all he wants. That's want. all he wants. Yeah. When no, baby. That's just one of his non-negotiables. Oh, that's what y'all, yeah. But that's what y'all was doing when y'all was just talking. Listen. And there's it a always, command and it, it can shift. But and it all should, but I think too, at the same time, realizing that we you grow and you change as you evolve as a human. Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you able to do that with somebody? Mm-hmm. And then be able to articulate, you know, at first I didn't like this when we were just dating. Mm-hmm. Or when we were just talking, mm-hmm. I did like this or I didn't like this. But you know what? I don't like that yeah. anymore. Mm-hmm. Say it. And, and yeah. that not be a problem. And that not be a problem it's with a either one of y'all. Yeah. Because no, 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 no. it depends, though. I ain't gonna lie. To you. Okay. Some stuff. I think when it and I'm specifically only talking about sex drive. Hear me. Oh, okay. Because mm. I had to go back because because it was sex drive. Then you said, Oh, I'm sorry. It evolved into something else. So I'm thinking sometimes that may not change, right? Mm. And Man. from personal experience, it don't. Mm. Um, the older you get, the more slow down. I'm not gonna. Mm. And some stuff people just can't do, mm. right? And you know what I'm saying. And if you do, do, but if I think once you, because so some be people, okay some with people without starting that thing happening. getting married yeah. and then say, and then figuring out, oh, I don't like that. Yeah, and it's kind of like do the work before that marriage do comes. Do all of it, meaning that's true. like 
every yeah. season broke do i have to pay for it now okay and i mean not even just marriage just can i am i do i love him enough to take care yeah. of him if he went down yeah. if he got in a wheelchair mm -hmm. will i be that's able something to, you have to like, always consider yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's all like all of those things before you say man. yes yeah i mean in the you bottom know? line to what you're saying actually at the end of the day is communication so this mm -hmm. is this is something and that knowing your person absolutely yeah. knowing I, your person i dated a girl with a uh, pcos before mm -hmm. and she, her sex drive was like mad low it was like She's always tired. Because you in pain constantly. Well, that, and she was always tired. Is mm -hmm. that a thing? Yes, because yes. yes. it causes fatigue. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's your uterus. Mm. Like, and that's the that's the brain of our hormones. Yeah, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get out. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, and that's the thing, but if it's important enough for you, because you have to be able to no. communicate, so, I need it this or much. Is it <laughs> if that person is such a wonderful person, you still want to do life person. with this person, Fantastic. or you still want to have a long-lasting mm -hmm. relationship with mm. this person, be okay with that one thing not being there. When but you, then again, ooh, I will say to my to brothers, I will say to my brothers, do not stay if that ain't what you want. This that, is what I'm saying. Anybody. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying settle for that that yeah. you know stay in this relationship if that's that you, mm -hmm. you need, that's something that you, you need. need. Sounds Definitely more. don't stay. Yeah. But <sighs> some things for myself, I can go without. Mm -hmm. I, it's not a deal breaker for mm -hmm. me. Got mm -hmm. you. Like I think compromise is always gonna compromise always has to play a part in relationships. It, it got to because yeah. you go from and, and this is just being all transparent, going from um, men that are physically in shape, nice every day. When I say girl, you always pick them nice girl. To just, <laughs> just a nice like guy. They've been swollen. To just a, just a nice guy. Yeah. You're not even, you're not, you you don't. I get it, so tell to, to me, guy. Yeah, to yeah, just, yeah. just don't think y'all are nice. Okay, just okay, not. Don't think y'all are nice. So just no, a, a, a nice, just a nice man, man. <laughs> but not what I'm used to. I'm yeah. used to big, Superman. Yeah. Go ahead say it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. That's what attracted me. Mm. But now I can also be attracted to a man who just straight up and down. It's a and handsome I'm right. brother, man. Yeah. As long as he treats you. Yeah, because if you if you love me right, yeah. I can see I can see him. I, I can see. I don't even see you that way. Right. If you I love see you right, through the I eyes can of see love. your nice body. Because yeah. the thing is, mm -hmm. I mean, when you met me, I didn't have the body I have today. Mm -hmm. Come on. But this is how you met me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I did this for me and not you. So right. I'm gonna keep it up because this is what right. I want for me. It's a win-win. Mm -hmm. like you you get what I'm saying? It's and vice versa. There are times when you will meet that man that didn't necessarily care about his uh, physical appearance okay. in that way. Mm -hmm. But if you Ooh. loved him in a different way than yeah. he's ever experienced, yeah. he'll start loving himself differently. And yeah. see you loving right. yourself and that we, way. We kind of dig back up to the gym every day. Yeah. yeah. Let, let, let's go. Yeah. 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 The things mm -hmm. that lack in that man mm -hmm. physically, does the physical sexual attraction translate into those things that you do admire about him? The so, sexual attraction. So the sexual attraction for me is not just physical. Okay. It if ain't, you, it ain't it for physical me. for me, okay. honestly. Okay. Most it doesn't times, even start. I don't it, see you and be like, oh, I want to. It don't it become that until mm -hmm. we now until listen. Mm -hmm. Most, I, I, you know what I've, you know what I <laughs> seem to, I've learned that most, <laughs> most, most, most women are sexual. Oh, I'm saying all the way. We like to yeah. keep me delusional for as yeah. long as possible. Yeah, because the thing is. I can, I can, I can see you in all the ways I need to see Ooh, you when you got me here. Gotcha. Without gotcha. the blur, I when you got me here and here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a wrap. Everybody. It's yeah, yeah. Because baby, I'm gonna think Literally about all the things I want to do, and can't wait to do it. If your math start not mathing, yeah, if your math do not math, math is two that plus two ain't exactly. equal yeah. four. Don't one. let me figure out it. Don't equal four. <laughs> Because everything uh, after that, that I'm I going. think it goes back to I'm something going. that he said earlier, too, is about taking advantage of mm. the space or the person that is in your space. Yeah. Sometimes you get so used to a mm -hmm. gym that you don't even realize it's a gym. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just a rock. It's just a paperweight. Mm -hmm. I can move it around and shift it and ignore mm -hmm. it if I please. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have to not experience you in that space mm -hmm. yeah. to realize, yeah. oh. Yeah, in the totality of this of loss, like see the somebody else completely walk away. looking at it mm. and wanting it, yeah, and and mm. willing to take care of yeah. it. Now, like why is not. that though? Because that's dumb. It's an ego. Thing. It's dumb for both of us. That's and why an is that? It's an ego I think, thing. I think well, a lot of people. I'm sorry. It's okay. She said you did. 
It's okay. No, I just think a lot of people try to get ready-made situations too, and the reality is that everybody's and never. You know, like people are. As my one of my pastors, he always say that we're becoming. Everybody's constantly becoming, and so if you try to look for somebody that's like bam, 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 I think that's why relationships don't last because I think people aren't committed to growing and evolution, working. Evolution, right? Right. You know, it's almost just like, well, yeah, he don't, he don't got this, and he don't. Know. Well, how, next five years, he probably blow you away. So check this out. Ooh, that's good. So the question is now with that, mm -hmm. how long do you deal with a person I, not giving you I, what I, you absolutely need? Can I? Can oh, I, that's different. Can I answer? Can I answer? Can I? Can I? Can I? Because because I have to be honest, and, and I'm I'm in a serious relationship, so. Mm. It ain't that serious. No. <laughs> it's definitely serious. <laughs> you can't even get with nobody else. Right after the right. show, right. you might as well hang it up. You might as well hang it up. Martin, Gina, Gina baby, you else. ain't tell me you embarrassed one me. One thing, my one thing that I will say challenged me before I got with him because I'm telling y'all, before I got with him was the whole we spiritual know. aspect of this next one. Mm. I'm going to be intentional about what I'm doing. Yeah, I like that. And um, the way you stay mm. is knowing that this person is human mm. and we're evolving. Mm. Meaning when the shadow part shows up mm. instantly, and if I can't be transparent, I'm not a runner, mm. I'm a fighter. So I, when the shadow show up, I'm fighting. Mm. I'm like, okay, you don't wanna talk about it, you wanna run, no, we're not running. You can't uh. just end this like that. Mm -hmm. because that's what we used to oh it ain't working out all right i'll get something else oh it ain't working out i'll get something else mm -hmm. uh he don't mm, i'll get something else. no we're gonna work we're gonna work mm -hmm. because i feel like if you find somebody who's willing to work and has a kind compassionate heart mm, they may not be able to do all the things but i believe this is my yeah. belief if he love you and he's kind and he's a giver and he really in the center of his soul is Love, yeah. you can see that he can, and you can mm -hmm. feel that. Mm -hmm. if so you, that is why. So you it can work. allows you to fight. Mm -hmm. But if that person is giving you absolutely none of the things that you need, trash. Oh, we out. I can't. My we fight out. is gonna be flight. So we are gonna move on to the next question. Savannah, so ask us what you want to ask us. Uh, the question I was going to ask is: uh, Have you all been around any men or women who taught you all how to be the ladies you are today? Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, oftentimes when when um, women ask men, you know, what do they bring to the table? You know, it's kind of... They you, are the table. Yeah, you know, it's just like, <laughs> well, you know, you, you might list the list of things that he mm -hmm. may do and have going for himself and what he's working towards. Mm -hmm. And a woman, you know, in return would say, or a man will ask, hey, what, what about yourselves? Well, I, you know, I am the table. It's me that you're looking for. Mm. <laughs> So I'm the prize. I'm Line the prize. And that's the social media lingo. And it's just uh, so exhausting. So Oh, I'm sorry y'all had to hear that. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think I'm the table. Yeah. I never thought I was a table. And I think that's probably why um I'm, so humble. I'm, or or it, now listen, yes, that, that might be the word. Uh, I'm humble because I know my stinks too. Mm, like mm. it's it's not even hear me. And I and I know that. Just as much as I have to work with my partner, he gonna have to work with me because absolutely there is stuff I'm still getting mm -hmm. rid of. Mm -hmm. I'm just grateful to have somebody who's rocking with me through it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To see the other side of oh dang, what Joy was yeah, because at, at the beginning of our relationship, I was yelling mm -hmm. every oh, time he would say something. I was going at his mm -hmm. neck because I was used to narcissistic men who didn't under who didn't believe what I was saying. So okay. I was yelling at him. What he mm -hmm. do? He said, "Hey." Real soft one time, <laughs> y'all. And it was so strict. Like it, it, it was almost like a dad talking to me. Mm, he was like, Hey, you certain. can't, you cannot yell at me. And I said, <laughs> You never did it again a dad. <laughs> Babe, no, have, no, I yelled, no, have I yelled no, at you no. since? It's been two years. It's been two years. I have not raised my voice at that. Right on, right on. Man. She got loud in the because mic though and said, Babe, have I said it? That's right, <laughs> I'm right. saying, No, babe, I'm have I yelled at you? The thing is, she. He, he put her in her, her place as a man mm -hmm. and the leader of this house mm -hmm. in love. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge difference. Without that's her a, fighting it back, she submitted to that and she respected him as a man to, and yeah. respected him as a human being enough to be like, I can't talk to him yeah, like that. Because it's rude. Because it's rude. One of, the, one of the things that I realized, you know, that's a problem in relationships is a lack of empathy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, 
you got stuff, you got issues too. Mm -hmm. And when, when I think of something that gets on my nerves or bothers me about someone that I care about, before I get too upset with them, I have to realize, hold on a minute, this is just in relationships in general yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. oh. How can I be so upset with you mm -hmm. when the only difference between me and you is the problem? That's it. That's good, bro. The wrong, wrong, wrong has become singular to me. Mm. Everybody is wrong, just in different areas. I don't get to judge you because your wrong is different than mine. That's good. That's good and if bro. I'm judging you that way, where are we, where are we going? Mm. Mm. What Separate are we going to get to? Mm. The yeah. other problem with that is having being a person with empathy and being with someone that does not have it. Mm. That doesn't work. They don't. Mm -mm. And those are the kind of relationships that don't work. Yeah. Somebody somebody wants to work and the other person doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like I don't see that. The, and, yeah, and half yeah. the time they don't even know how to give that empathy back because it's never been given to them or never been. They never mm -hmm. have an example of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the person, Cause I know prior to he, he prior to him, everyone I dated was very pos. She, like I, I don't even know the word for it, just dicta yeah. dic a dictator. Yeah. I so understand. there was there was no wrong that they could do. Yeah, no accountability. That's not there was no mm. wrong. Like yeah. it was always me, and, and because I'm empathetic, they knew once I say nah, Joy, that was you. She gonna go. Oh dang! Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, and yeah. that would be me instantly yeah. apologizing. And one day I was just like, I'm not apologizing for nothing. Yeah, exactly. Else. I'm yeah. done. That's good. Exactly. You know, a lot of people they um, take what they know. They respond from what they know. Mm -hmm. So if you know you're in a relationship or whatsoever, and it was like this, instead of taking that time that we talked about about healing, people would jump into like the next thing without finding some sort of resolve mm -hmm. and so now you bring that to the next person it's just like wait a minute but i got you know without even figuring out how to maneuver through that you yeah. know and being able to articulate sometimes people will people are triggered by things Ooh, that but word. then you can't even <laughs> say this made me yeah. do this yeah because you don't know yeah. Yeah. so if you are able to recognize yes. this happened here mm -hmm. yeah. this made me react this way mm -hmm. hey yeah. hi my love yeah. yeah this is triggering me in yeah. this way yeah it's making me and it's not you i know it's not you mm -hmm. i know it's me mm. But you did this, and this got this reaction. Mm. So, Jasmine, How can hmm, yeah. hey, yeah. What what do you need to fix here? That's good. What do I need to heal? Because people don't because like, you don't even go. Yeah, you don't you don't you don't do that. You'll say I'm triggered, and even, even if because you'll hear that word right. Because uh, there there are so many key right. and coined words with everybody. So they everybody, got a microphone. They got a podcast, triggered. right? Like, but at the same time, okay. Once so with a trigger, once it's pulled, then what happens? Yeah. Hopefully you have a, hopefully the, you have an empathetic partner that knows what triggers are, so he can go or but she. Can but look even at you but and go. just in to say this, you did this. This hurt me this way. Yes. This made me feel this. It is called communication. Communication. Mm. And I had to step away to say what part of my past am I carrying to this mm. now relationship that I know that this is not you. That's good. This is me. That's mm -hmm. good, Jay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I'm not going to be totally 100%. I'm never going to no. be a whole pie because yeah. you're always right. ever evolving. Right. But what was it that made me react this way? Mm -hmm. And then I realized it's not, you're not the same person. Woo. So you, just, you doing it. I'm you not just the same. look like him when you had said what you had said. Yeah. You think yeah. you're, like, you're not the same person. <laughs> just like I'm not the same 25 year old Jasmine yeah. that reacted in the same way when you treated her. Yeah. Then. So how, how can we take this, the two people that want to work and make it be something you say that trigger and he know yeah because the thing is he, he has you say that trigger that. but the thing is is that you have to be intentional with somebody if he says joy stop you this makes me feel this yeah way. she says babe this makes me feel this way mm. now it is in the forefront of my head my to not do this thing yeah. mm -hmm. to make exactly. him or her yeah. feel this That's way good. and then it's how a can we effort. and at the same time with that same intentionality how can we get to the end result we're looking for because if we were having a conversation and the issue is the bed i like it made up to this way mm -hmm. he like it made up this way you like it made up this way at the mm -hmm. end of the day the bed is, bed is still made up right yeah. so how can we find out the best way to make our bed. You Let's make it, it up you, together. You, I do my side. You do your side. I Let's mean, pull the couple if, up if together. It has to be the, you know what I'm saying? Like, how can we get to the yeah. end? Yeah. Thing? Well, a big, part, a big part of it too is communication or delivery. 
Mm, bro, I was just about to say that. How you say it? Man. Because we fuss at each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What I've learned Ooh. is solid communication does not have to happen out loud. Yeah. Because it was Come real on. quiet and very stern. But, but and I said, <laughs> but that's I said, what makes you listen and tune in. Yeah. And he yelled at him no more because he was stern. <laughs> but he was stern, <laughs> but he was yeah. respectful exactly. in his yeah. delivery. Exactly. So yeah. what do you do yeah. if you have a person where you, you having a just... Conversation, your tone, your delivery, everything is on point. And this person still takes every single thing that you say as a personal attack. And now they fight you for everything that you say. You go first. I had to I had to divorce somebody. Oh Mm -hmm. well, I didn't do it. She 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 divorced, but that was one of the reasons in retrospect Mm. that I realized it's like I want to communicate. Mm. I want to fix. But the capacity to listen and see beyond her own feelings yeah. was not necessarily there. Your own, it, Cause really it'd be an ego thing. Mm, and and exactly. some people learn to fight every word because yeah. that's what they came that's from. What they Their came whole from. life has been a fight. And some it's been like, confrontation. My life, don't my have to life be ain't been that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you can't continue to attack mm-hmm. me because I'm going to stop talking to you. Mm-hmm. Or yeah. completely yeah. Exactly. stop dealing with you, yeah. and I'm gonna lose respect for you Fact. or the desire to even interact with you at all. Correct. Exactly. I always say that if every, if everything I say feels like ammo to you, what do you need to step back and assess mm-hmm. and look? Yeah. Because I'm not I'm not coming at you. I'm, I'm on your side. We I'm talking about the side. Trying to fix I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Right together. So yeah. you know, you li- I listen to my tone. Listen to how I'm communicating, how I'm listening. One sidebar, one of my pet peeves is being cut off in the middle of conveying. Especially because I'm not one to interrupt. When when you go, go, please. I need to take some notes. Uh-huh. <laughs> so That's can, the best thing to do. So I can real. recall, because it'd be so long sometimes, you know. So <laughs> Let the baby. Let the baby. And I so, forget what I'm saying. Yes. So, so I got, so, you know, boy. it's right. So it's all about, you know, being able to listen and respond well. But like I said, if you're taking everything for ammo, man, it's, it's, it's like smoke at this point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard at, to. At the same, t- at the same time, and this is where empathy comes in again. And it feels unfortunate sometimes because you don't know why they're like that. <sighs> And it could come from somewhere in their childhood. It's yeah. definitely and they yeah. don't even they don't even know they don't even know. They become very normal. It's their trauma normalized. response. Yeah. Yeah. Very normalized. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we talk in my family. Everybody be like da 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 da. You meet somebody that's, that's what the I opposite. Said to him. <laughs> you meet the opposite. It's just like he talks to you so respectfully. Ooh, and it's so calm and yeah. so quiet. And what's crazy too is that I learned mm. right. I come from a loud family. We Man. we we we. Y'all go at it. We go too. <laughs> and it's not even oh. because we're excited when we are, you yeah, know, passionate just, just about passionate. whatever. Right? It could be all the laughter. It could be all of the yeah. anger. We're just passionate, right? I understand. But then at the same time, when you come, when you grow, when you grow up in a in a household where you hear a lot of arguing and stuff, Ooh. sometimes you can then say, "Cause I did, I'm not gonna do that when I." Mm. So my, my, I'm not gonna do that. When I turned into Jasmine, did the exact opposite. Mm. So she ain't say nothing, girl. Wow. Then you shut and, up. And then yeah, it's because like you go to the whole opposite the whole end extreme, of the, right? The whole, and then the it's like, but opposite. then that was bad too. Yeah. So then finding yeah. the middle ground between. Mm-hmm. How can I say? Yeah. Because even with the tone of voice and delivery, which I was talking about, I'll yeah. make it real quick. Yeah, sure. My 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 ex husband had a way of talking to me that mm-hmm. he didn't raise his voice. He ain't do the, but he could say words mm-hmm. that I would feel the most broken, the most wow. empty, the most nothing inside. Mm. So then it would make me be like, you know what? I'm just gonna power down. Mm. I'm not saying nothing. Mm-hmm. And then one day, the volcanic eruption. Gasket it moves. was, but you gotta find the middle, you gotta yeah. find right? It. So yeah, I yeah. can't get mad at you mm-hmm. for speaking to me the way that you speak to me, mm-hmm. and I don't tell you I don't like the way that yeah, feels. You gotta say mm-hmm. something. Yeah. Say something. yeah. So he yeah. did the right thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know how to do that then. Yeah. I didn't have that language. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got it. Now. And then too, and then too, I definitely had to put that permission out there as well mm-hmm. to say to him because he is nice. Mm. And half of y'all women who just like me, alpha females get with men who are actually kind and will run over them. 
I, I have to wow. tell him when I do something because <laughs> it's just in our nature to do, but it really comes not consciously. Is that masculine energy? Yes, or? it is. Mm. Oh wow! But it's because of where I, where I came from. Okay, okay. So I had to give him permission to tell me no to stop. No, mm. no, because I was healing mm -hmm. and I knew that for sure. So it's it, in these relationships, everybody just got to get everybody permission to grow. Ex Ooh. That is necessary. And, and the space, the safe yeah. space yeah. to yeah. grow. Yeah. Because if I'm trying to grow and I'm telling you that I'm trying to grow and mm -hmm. I'm telling you I'm trying to heal from this, you don't get to come in this situation and keep yeah. poking at me when I'm trying. I'm trying to put yeah. a band-aid on it. Why you keep taking yeah. it off? Yeah, yeah that you ain't know your person. Is, I noticed, um, uh, T, you might know about it or maybe experience, but man, for a long time, I experienced a lot of women don't know how to apologize. I don't say y'all because y'all are like on the pedestal. No, listen, but it's, I, I, I did a whole talk about it, baby. So I know. So I experienced <laughs> women not knowing how to apologize, and it's just like, man, when I'm wrong, like I be like, yeah, I hear my tone. I'm sorry, my bad. Let me make some adjustments, or you know. But when they, uh, it's like, so what? What, what you we doing for dinner? Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, what like we going just, it just goes away. How you just gonna? It's just like, where's the? Yeah, it just goes away. And then you acknowledge it gets crazy and squirmy because they don't know how to address that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's hard for us. I'm not, and, and, yeah. and, and of course, the comments will probably disagree with me. But it's hard for us. I had to learn because, and, and hear me. The reason why mm -hmm. I had to learn, the reason why I had to learn, yeah. is because everything I said was a fight to, mm -hmm. to another person. Got it. I wasn't used to people understanding or believing me. Got you. So it will come at a cost if a man told me something. Oh yeah, you nigga, no. No, and you ain't gonna tell me what it is until I got secure with myself. I knew who I was, yeah. and I knew Joy. You're, you you got an ugly attitude, ma'am. Mm. You need to fix it, man. And and Joy, when I lived alone, I recognized that mm. I was very out, very masculine, yeah. like super masculine. Yeah, well, one of my you parents, to fall. look at that mic. Like, <laughs> like it drove me yeah. to some some places, yeah. but. No. I learned in that that I wanted to be I wanted to be softer I wanted to be gentle and I wanted to be like exude peace yeah. in a way and yeah. the only way I could do that is if empathy was yeah. reciprocated and given and yeah. forgiveness was given and it, like it was more me giving what I wanted before yeah. I could get it yeah one of my pastors uh, shout out to Pastor Mike Jr okay. um, he said something so dope he said what if you ask the Lord to show you and reveal to you what's holding you back how do you respond when the Lord shows you you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. How do you, man? Because we're mirrors, and, yeah. and most people run. I'm yeah. running from the mirror treatment. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to see yeah. that stuff. It forces you to accept the yep. wrong about other people. Mm. Empathy. Yep. It forces you to understand that you're not perfect. Stop to expecting give other people to, to be. give to give grace and be understanding of mm, that person's this is space. Good. This is real good. This is the space that I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. And either you're going to be with me through it or you're not. Yep. But you don't get to shun me for the space that I'm in. Check. You don't get to be disrespectful no. for the space that I'm in. Right. Either you're going to understand it and grow with me or you can get kick rocks. And mm. I think at the same time, the most important thing for people to understand in relationships, period, regardless if they're romantic or platonic, if, if it's rooted in love, mm. because the thing about it is at the end of the day, right? You have never been this age, this moment, this time before. Talk, right? sis. So with that being said, how can I expect for you to be perfection in every mm -hmm. moment yeah. when I lack? I will never be that. Exactly. Right. So I'm not having, the same that I was I'm not the same that I was yesterday. So, so that's what I'm saying. So like, you know, having just understanding that you are human too. Yeah, absolutely. Even if you don't know how to find yeah. empathy, mm -hmm. me understanding that you eat, sleep, and food just like me. Yeah. Girl. I mean, and it's, it's true now. Even it's, and once ahead. again, to bring yeah. balance to everything we're talking about, mm -hmm. to what you were saying about, you know, women not being able to apologize. apologize. Yeah. Yeah. It's both sides. It is. Women it is get people. the same experience yeah. from men. Listen, it's yeah. an individual That's thing. That's why I said, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I literally, that was the reason why, you mm -hmm. know, I was like, though it is very rare for us to hear an apology for coming parents, from a woman. Especially. Uh, Ooh, but that's the thing parents. we learned we these are this is most of this is learned behavior yeah. mm -hmm. that's we have trouble issue taking ownership period 
Mm. Of mistakes, right? Because our parents mm. would do that. Mm. They'll be dead wrong with something, say, I and then say, say, "I said what I said." So you better do it. And and then they say, uh, "You man, hungry." I love the relationship I have <laughs> with my mom now as a man. Like my mom, we would disagree on that some is stuff. True. And she would say some stuff that just so left field. Uh, Love you, mama. And I would be like, Ma, now you know that wasn't right. What do you mean? They let us this delusional. Don't, don't, right. Like, what do you mean? And I don't do it rude. I'm like, Ma, you, you know, you can't do that. That, you know, what you said was offensive. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? So now it's like, <laughs> my mom at this point, she's learning something else. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. with my parents. You know, we grow up so that we can also Teach. give back to yeah. them what they gave mm -hmm. to us. Mm -hmm. All the good they've done, yeah. actually. Now, yeah. as, a, as, a, as a dad, mm -hmm. I'm very intentional about giving equality to my daughter. I love mm. that, bro. Come on, bro. If I'm wrong, I'm there's sorry. been times when I, that adult thing in me, and I have to come back and say, hey, baby girl, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I got a little loud with you because I was frustrated because you do this and this, this, da, 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 da. But I didn't have to talk to you that way. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. Bro, that's the thing. So that, that, that is going to make, make her, her not one be the woman. She's going to be able to apologize. She's going to be able to apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you, as a father. And she won't be reckless in her words. She won't, bro. And, yeah. and, and yes. deeper than that, when a Negro yell at her, she going to know you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do that. Exactly. Exactly. But that's the thing. And I feel like a lot of we are the generation to know that things were wrong. Exactly. And we change. And we, we started the change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our children yeah. will then start with the change Come of what on, we guys. already and then the generation after yeah. that, they're not even gonna see half the stuff that we have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like so we yeah. are doing the work, even this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Bridging the, the gap. The gap. Because the, the gap. And it's not the just the gap. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. instead yeah. of being willfully, willfully ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got an extra we need an extra yeah. level of love anyway, because yeah. we are all beautifully melanated Absolutely. people. Yeah. And that's the thing. We are we fighting each other and the world fighting mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But if we start with love. Love, 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 Open or closed relationships is monogamy the only way for you? Man. And what benefits do you find in each? Man. Are you saying? Are you saying? Well, we, when we get to that, we'll get there. We're talking about the We can just keep it like this: yeah. open or closed, and we'll go there. You say open or closed for us? Relationship, yeah. For oh, okay. You. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, my turn? We're going to start with the hygiene okay. one first. So okay, how do you hygiene. tell your partner if they got bad hygiene? Yeah. So your partner, like, you dating out So I'm going to ask them. Yeah. Okay. As men, okay. how do you tell a woman she has <laughs> bad hygiene? And what you mean by hygiene? Her underarm stank or when they have sex? It might be the underarm. Oh, Maybe it might come thing. from him or her sit down uh, might be stank. The Ooh, sit down the or pH. her scalp. You know me and y'all like to yeah. smell the top of our head. Yes. Yeah. That Girl, might be that bonnet in the trash. Uh, okay, so how y'all tell us? Man, dude, you gonna find I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I now, me now, if you asked me this five years ago, I might not have said anything <laughs> just because <laughs> I knew it was gonna create dissonance. It's gonna create a wow. Now, yeah, a bad dissonance. I come from such a place of transparency and honesty. The way I live my life now is if you can't handle what I have to say, if it's in love. Mm -hmm. I'm. I, we just don't need to be they around each other. Like, like yeah. mm -hmm. I'm gonna weed you out. Mm -hmm, so thanks. I'm gonna tell you. I'm. Not, I'm gonna be yeah. nice about it. I'm gonna. Yeah. But I'm not going to be yeah. indirect. Okay, I understand what you're I saying. Want, I don't want to leave no room yeah. for you to mm -hmm. not. You yeah. feel me? What I'm trying to tell yeah. you. You need to understand what I'm saying. Look understand at, what I'm saying face, this because I'm staying. I'm trying to get you get to listen. <laughs> Baby. Oh, I'm trying to, is not the I'm right. I'm trying to, can I tell y'all what can I tell y'all a story that happened to me? Sure. Um, and this was early on because I was I was a late bloomer when it came to sex. And of course yeah. I got a child, so mm -hmm. we all know Joy was doing it. Mm -hmm. So but one, one, oh, one, one of my people, I'm just being real, one of my people, I had a little off a little pH off the balance thing, okay? <laughs> and, and at the time, the, most women don't know that, that, that it's off. And because we just be walking around sometimes, hear me, and I'm going to help some sisters out. I'm going to help some sisters out. Help. This man drew me a bath. Nice. 
put lavender and all this stuff in it, y'all. Love that. That man never told me I had a smell. That's smart. <laughs> but That's what smart. he did was provided me with every tool to That's never good. feel or smell like that again. That's good. And it's one of my exes that I'm still friends with. Mm. Clearly, because he he cared about me, he just we just didn't work out. Right. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. And but <laughs> what he when he did that, I was like, why is he drawing me a bath? And why is it? And he was just like, you know, he told me in a loving way. Mm-hmm. He was like, when you when you have, you know, when you're doing things as a as a woman, you got to take care of yourself <laughs> as a woman. And and <sighs> it taught me from that day on. I gotta I gotta really pay attention to that. Mm-hmm. Like he lathered you up first, and, and the bath was so nice. <laughs> So I can appreciate a man being a man in that way. Right, like, absolutely. I can show you what to do, too, if you yeah. don't know. Because clearly, Joy, but you didn't know. A man has to be knowledgeable about those That's things true. in order to present it that, that way. Yeah. That mm. is pretty incredible. That was incredible, actually. I just recently learned a lot of things that women can do to, you know, the steaming and mm-hmm. all this kind of thing. Yeah, cookie wash and all and that. And a lot of women don't wash. do it. No, don't oh, at all. A lot of women don't even know. So they be like, they oh, don't. Went, yeah, even by changing your underwear, yeah. having yeah. the same underwear that y'all had yeah. on since you was in high school. Like, maybe you've been out since for That's 20 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. better not have, you better, <laughs> we better not <laughs> open up your drawer and see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Listen, and that I'm month. serious. I'm so serious. Oh, man. There are are women because you were not taught you did not know and but we ain't went oh, to the my mama yet. told my mama yeah. told me oh, all every, every year you I need know, to buy a hundred buy a hundred pairs of underwear a year Shout and i promise you chrissy no she was like why do you have when we yeah. clean that house you why still, do you have bags yeah. and bags of drawers because mm-hmm. you need them and when i tell you i throw them i throw them away even no with problem. my daughter you know, kids, they don't wipe good all they the time. Know. Lord you Jesus. Poop in your underwear. You have some peak. Listen. Man. Go, don't throw it in the away. trash. Listen. I'm not even washing it. The They're going away. directly right. in the trash. So rad. Okay. I thank God my mom, she she had like two boys first. So she taught us even just as men how to always be clean and Ooh, hygienic. Thank God for your mama. No, my mom, she like, mama. like, you know, when we were younger, she would like, like with kids, she showed us how to wash ourselves, mm. and how to this and how to that. And so, mom, thank appreciate you, mom. you. Thank you, mom. Let's, let's do the class. Let's do the class. So yeah. <laughs> I know, I know that this girl them is stuck yeah. to their leg. Oh, my. oh, all right. Next all question. Right. Next. <laughs> next question. Oh, right. Okay, so got to be. Uh, ain't no way. Got to be. Ain't no way. Like Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> Take off running and ripping something. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, y'all, last question. <laughs> Open or closed? Man. And we ain't talking about legs. Nah. Oh, because I was like, wait. Mm. No way. Nah. <laughs> you know, it, it, it'll get her done. Y'all are crazy. She said, uh. <laughs> um, closed. Closed all the way. You're, you're a one woman man. I'm a one woman man. So it just gets, it can get really tricky. And I know somebody saying, well, you know, it just depends. You know, you might have a conversation. You know, uh, you know, you might be able to. Have this girl chip in and that one chip in and we all just chipping in. Might get you a little snack on the side. You know, but I mm, a little three good. I, I just I just love my one woman. I want to have my one woman to myself, and I want to be the same with my woman. You know, I don't like that accessibility. Mm. You know, just sharing space. Oh, this ain't no ramp. Yeah. This is not a wheelchair <laughs> ramp. Do you this hear is me? Not a ramp. <laughs> yeah, I don't want no ADA. Yeah, I don't want accessibility. No. <laughs> we will not okay. make ADA. Yeah, it's no, okay. it's closed, man. Nadia, who uh, you at? Ideally, I would want it closed. Mm. But what's what's the opposite of ideal? Ideally, uh, of the. What's the opposite? Is it like serious relationships? Are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, we talking about serious. serious. Oh, man. Seriously yeah. close. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we seriously close. Seriously close, You're going to lock that bitch for me. <laughs> I, I, I thought when I came, you know, after my divorce and stuff, and I just, you know, getting back in the dating world and just, you know, learning. You need to listen back again. on the side. No. <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to sit here and lie. You know, I, I, did, I did my thing while I was, you know, yeah. I, I've recently, I've man. recently met someone who's, giving me that thought and that reason mm-hmm. to want to change. Nice. But in the midst of my singleness, I, I explored and thought about, man. How long were you married? I was married for nine years. Oh, we were nine, together for like 16. Now you claiming y'all 18, 26 years you know, old. So, <laughs> but, you know, I thought about it. Mm-hmm. And I asked myself, you know, hey, can I do this? You know, this might be kind of this might be kind of cool. Because I came across some women who were cool with it. So I but, I go. But when you, but for me, I am a lover. Yeah, you know, man. at heart, mm-hmm. I'm, too, I'm a lover. So me too. I don't want to try to spread that out. Mm-hmm. It, it gets I need exhausting. to be able to get at the one person. It depends it's on who exhausting. you are. Depends on yeah, who you are. it's it's definitely yeah. a preference. Definitely, definitely a preference. preference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the same. Um, 
I can say at this point in my life, I'm closed. I was definitely in about three open relationships. Damn. Um, I have fun. I came hard. Damn. I have fun. And, and in another episode, I'll go into detail about those. But um, it was different. I, I can say now I'm more mature enough to. That's because, the word. Because I, and I'm not calling people who are in open relationships uh, immature because yeah. they work. Mm-hmm. They that's work. That if, if that's what they your mentality work. is, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mentality and, is and for sure. And the people who were in these relationships are open people, meaning they know how to make this work. And mm-hmm. not only that, they have the finances to take care of everybody involved. There you go. So, that part. Um, <clears throat> but at this point in my life, I am very secure in loving one person and giving my all to them because mm-hmm. the way that I need to be loved on. Mm-hmm. When you open, it's just like a classroom. It's too many people. Yeah, for and sure. I want I want the spotlight on me when it's time. Pretty so what, so what you're saying is my man really convinced you to. Oh, he changed my whole life. My man, my man, my man. He changed our life. He changed our life. He changed our life. I love that. I, I can love make it short, that. sweet, to the point, close yeah. for me. I have no issue with anybody else that loves openness, but that is not my thing. Yeah. Um, because I do enjoy spending my time doing different things. Mm-hmm. So the time that I want to have for you, I want it to be yours. Mm-hmm. I want mm-hmm. your time that you have for me to be mine. Yeah. I I don't want to share that time. Yeah. I have time for career, friends, yeah. all the things. Yeah. But your time is your time, and I want to yeah. give it to you. I believe there's a joy that comes with just exclusivity. Oh, ain't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah I like you know, that. just mm-hmm. that one individual. Um, and you know, I, I personally, I just believe that, like, it, God just intended it to be that way, mm-hmm. man. Of it course, could, yeah. It could, it could be a lot of other extra things if. We welcome other parties. You have emotions. You bacteria. have bacteria. Bacteria. Oh, see, you I want to keep my then, balance and your balance right. straight. I don't want to have to worry about nobody else's balance. <laughs> and then the reality is, we, we have. And the, and the <laughs> said, wrap it up. And the, re, and the reality is, like spiritual things are real as well. Come you on. don't know where everybody is and what they dibble and dabble into. So you might, as one of my pastors say, you might not catch you a sexually transmitted disease. You might catch you a sexually transmitted spirit. Yeah, you know, mm. real talk. You know, it's hard to break mm-hmm. off. Man, I'm telling you, I don't have one. I just want you to dibble and dabble in me, and I'm a dibble and dabble in you. Y'all, we got listen. We gotta uh, go. We gonna have a part two. We gonna have yeah, a day. Don't show everybody come because yeah, yeah, I yeah. still have so many questions so to ask. Right, <laughs> but um, and y'all I thank great. y'all for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank y'all. y'all. For yeah. We should do. We this definitely gonna do it again. And y'all invite us to come talk to y'all. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. We definitely want to talk for sure. For my men's collective, I'd love to have you all come be a part of it. Yes, and Tilly got a podcast. And Tilly, yeah, we're gearing back up. Yeah. yeah, and I know Tedra. Me and Tedra went to high school nice. and middle school and everything together. Nice. Yes, yeah. yeah. we talked. I was like, you know, Tedra. Yeah. Okay. So y'all, thank y'all for joining us on the couch. Everybody, look at this camera right here. No matter what you do, no matter where you grow, no matter how you glow, baby, there's always room for who you right here on the. Hey. Just-